Well, hi there, and welcome back. You're here with old Barry. Uh, once again, it's good to be back together with you. It's uh, on a really miserable, rainy, windy Sunday. I had planned on uh, doing a few things around the house today, but that got canceled. So I'm here with you, and gosh, that's just as good. Not as productive for my house, but it's probably more fun than working. Anyway, uh, as I say, good to be back with you. I want to bring your attention to something that is very popular on the internet over the last short while, and that's about, you know, these short squeezes. And this is actually a nice thing to see, but I want to draw your attention. It was either, I think it was between mid-April and mid-May or something like that of last year. On one of my videos, I made mention for the first time I'm mentioning after 12 years of doing videos, if I had a couple extra dollars, I'd throw it into physical silver. And uh, it's about eight, nine months later in that, and it's about 85% on the plus. But again, uh, in all probability, which is this, uh, shall we say, manipulated short, uh, short squeeze in silver, I'm really happy about that. Now, for all of you that don't know what I'm talking about in a, in a short squeeze here, it's all over the internet. I'm also going to link up actually uh, another uh, a video from, uh, it'll be from uh, Mike Malone. And uh, I think he did a pretty good job on it. And about uh, Reddit preparing to unleash the world's biggest short squeeze in silver. And it's kind of neat because... For a little while anyway, at least the little guys getting a kick some butt back on the big corporations, the big guys controlling things. Well, anyway, I'm not going to dwell on that. That's not what this video is about, okay? But uh, I am going to say uh, the way things are, silver uh, very, very much may go considerably higher over the next near future. So even now, like I say, it's about 85% from the first time I ever said I might want to buy it. That's what I'm saying with anything there is. I don't care if it's a crypto. Uh, there's a time to get in, a time to get out. Um, with anything almost in life. So, you know, don't fall in love with investments or ideas. Fall in love with good people. Let's move on from that, though. Um, there's a lesson here also to be learned about this manipulated short squeeze and all these stocks that have been pumped and the public making uh, unbelievable returns on uh, re ROIs, uh, return on investments that are unheard of. You know, stocks that were $50 and then they're $650, you know, a very short time later. But they're being artificially driven up. And I'll let, like I say, you'll do your own information if you want to look into that. But uh, look, uh, Google Robinhood, uh, Reddit, uh, stock manipulation, short squeeze and silver, and it's all over there, okay? You don't need me for that. But on a deeper sense, how many times, those of you that have been listening to old Barry for, for all these videos about nothing's going to happen until, as a collective, we start working together. There are things in this universe that are subjective, such as tastes, whether it's in food or art, automobiles, trucks, where you want to live, who you want to be friends with, and there are things that are not subjective but collective and they affect us all simultaneously maybe to various degrees but simultaneously and freedom is one of those and i'm sorry to say that but it is i wish it wasn't but the other thing is look at this manipulated short squeeze by us the outside guys the small investor if because we banded together, okay, and we kept all our differences out of it, regardless, be it anything from religion to sexual preference to politics, kept it all out and had one common goal. That was get a good return on this and manipulate it and give them a piece of their own medicine. To all the people that participated in it, good on you. The people that are just hearing about it for the first time, that's fine. That's that's the higher percentage by a long shot. Just get out there and do a little bit of information digging. Another thing I want to remind you, when we made 
that an idea about buying physical silver back then in April, May, or early June maybe of last year, they were really glad about the return if anybody listened, but again, we're not, we're not giving financial advice. But how we see these things is we said, and because of our research on various other sources of information, we had always told you, and I've taken a lot of slack for it, and I don't mind it, but we've always told you that precious metals will go nowhere until there's a crack in the confidence in, of government. Okay? You just recently passed that intersection. Oh, it was there before this whatever election, whatever you want to call it. It was there well before that. All the way back to 216, 212, all the way back. However, the citizenry's confidence in government has been seriously, seriously damaged on either side now. That was the intersection that made us guys, Yossi, Stefan, me, Shlomo, the mentors, know we were on the right track. Now you've seen it. Now you're seeing crazy volatility. You're looking at even cryptocurrencies that a month ago people were saying were worthless, stupid. Uh, supposedly experts in the field or self-proclaimed experts only to have something go up 1,400% in a short while. Nothing's making sense anymore. But... This gives you a clear-cut idea of what the mentors are saying puts your differences aside. If we could manipulate a market or a stock and damage a big corporation by doing it, the ones, and, and I'll tell you what, do your own research, I don't want to get sidetracked, but they're recognizing they're being damaged and they're worried because they are changing the rules. The controllers will always change the rules. No different than a five-year-old spoiled child who's losing a board game and because they are losing, takes their hand and swipes the whole board and all the pieces all across the floor. This is the mentality you're dealing with. It makes no difference that they have that much wealth, power, and control. The mentality you're dealing with is that of a spoiled child. Very difficult to think as an adult and recalibrate to think in that type of environment. Okay? But it clearly shows you this is good news. What we can do whenever we do Light this tinderbox, go through the violence, and catch it on the other side, what we're capable of doing. So I am no negative person when it comes to, like I say, you're only trying to figure out how bad will it be. Okay, now last before I close, because I do have to still do a couple other things. Just going out to everybody, but primarily I want to talk to my Canadian subscribers, and that's a fair number of you guys. Oh, Barry's known since uh, about a week before New Year's uh, what was going on here with old Justin Trudeau. I never got so much as one email from any of my Canadian subscribers, and I'm quite shocked about that. So I guess most of you aren't aware of it, but as of January 1st, 2021, Justin Trudeau. I'll pop it up in the corner here. Leanne will put links on both of them, but Justin Trudeau canceled all the currency. It is no longer a legal tender. I'm reading you the last paragraph. This is from a, a source uh, I use quite regularly. It's one of the most reliable sources there is. We knew about this was going to be done behind hours uh, during holiday times and stuff like that while people weren't looking like it always is. What else changes but the technology? Anyway, so just as you understand what I'm saying here, the tender, it is no longer legal tender. Your Canadian paper money. Okay. This is, however, only phase one of a multi-phase transition. 
Phase two is going to be there will be a time span implicated about 90 days, six months, whatever that, nobody will know. That will allow you to take your physical paper dollars holding to a, an institution, have it either deposited to whatever will be the currency in Canada, digital currency. Yes, we're losing that freedom too. There'll be nothing left for us to hand our children because we will not defend our freedoms. Anyway, whatever will be the, uh, whatever is impl implicated to be the digital currency, and then um, after that time, then there'll be the initial day that they'll provide the switch. The currency will, paper currency will then be worthless. Which also on a closing note, as shocking as that sounds, and uh, I hope you guys look it up for yourself because I'm not doing the research for you. I'm just passing on what um, we've known. I'm very surprised nobody brought that out in the open, any of my Canadian subscribers. But anyway, on a final parting note, because I do have to do a couple of things as well, I want to touch base on the next video on some good news. Uh, everything is, like I say, I'm biased with old Barry. And there are many groups that are coming out of the woodwork now, Europe, Canada, and America, Australia is coming up, England, well, part of Europe. Uh, like I say, um, Really uh, sizable numbers protesting these useless, ridiculous lockdowns and wanting to open their businesses, wanting to get back to work and wanting to get back to earning a living because it is slowly killing them. And uh, anyway, at this point, anybody that can't see so much more damage and death has been done than this silly old manufactured uh, potency level of a real virus, which was not deadly, is, is beyond hope at this point. Uh, but we're de we deserve what we're getting as a collective, and that's why I say if we're not all free, nobody's free. But anyway, I've got to get going. I'm going to touch base on a couple of these uh, information sources about the, the amount of these uh, open back up petitions, and it's great to see. It's exciting, and I'm all for that. I hope you guys are too, and I hope you'll start supporting it a little bit more. Uh, to the best of your ability. Okay, guys, I uh, will talk to you soon. It's old Barry NDR, and uh, moving forward and onward, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.